And thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Bob Jubak. And I'm Megan Miller. First at 6, the world is watching tonight as the crisis in Ukraine escalates, and we have team coverage tonight of it all. And we'll start with News 13's Matt Fortin in Myrtle Beach, where for some on the Grand Strand, this conflict hits close to home. Finish comes from Russia, caviar. Since 2018. Herring. From, from all over. Gloria Cucho has sold food and other products from all over Eastern Europe at her store Europa Market in Myrtle Beach. USSR, so Ukraine, Russia, Romania, Moldova, Albania, a uh, little bit of everything. Cucho is from Albania and with the market connects with people from Eastern Europe every day who also have made Myrtle Beach home. You're bringing back your homeland, you know, you're, you're, the, the, you're reminiscing, you know, on the food that you grew up with. As tensions in the region rise, Cucho says people want the same thing regardless of their background. Russia and Ukraine, you know, they're beautiful country, beautiful people, amazing people, so sweet, so nice, you know, down to earth. And, and it really is sad to see them going through this, you know. Um, I think everybody just wants peace. Today we spoke to former South Carolina governor and current executive director of the World Food Program, David Beasley. He says the organization is in place to help people in Ukraine. We have uh, teams on the ground as we speak. They've been on the ground scouting out the different dynamics. The organization says food impacts could be felt beyond Ukraine's borders and says it's ready to react to a quickly changing situation. We will be able to scale up quickly. We, we do that all the time. We know how to do that. We're preparing, looking at a lot of different options that uh, might be available for us inside Ukraine. Uh, for bringing in food. The World Food Program says since the Black Sea Basin is one of the most important regions for agricultural exports, food supplies across a lot of that region could be disrupted. In Myrtle Beach, Matt Fortin, News 13.